Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusef Scott coming to you once again tonight. I'm very thankful that each and every one of you are watching this video. From all of my loyal viewers and subscribers and supporters uh, near and far, from all corners of the world, I thank you so much for being uh, supportive for this movement. I, I thank you so much, even those who have not um, you know, joined the movement so far. Um, you know, just just for coming to my my channel and, and looking to see what I have available today, I just thank you for for doing so, because you definitely make a make a huge difference in the um, the uh, popularity of, of my of my video. So um, I, I definitely appreciate you guys. What I want to do today is um, provide you guys with you know a little advice. All right, I love providing advice. And I think that it's it's very important that you guys uh, know that there there are some um, there are things within the market uh, things that people they go through when they're when they're trading on, on the market. Uh, of course, we have a lot of people there. Um, a lot of people are short-term traders, and people like myself they're more long-term, and uh, I don't mind holding trades. So um, I want to give you guys a little advice. All right. Now, a lot of you are a lot of you are inspired by the way that I trade. Uh, you you're inspired by by my, my 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 calm that I bring to the market. Um, just trading my I guess you know the way or my, the, the style that I have with explaining things, breaking things down. You guys relate to that. You guys can resonate well with that. So let me explain this to you. For those of you who are making the transition over to being a more of a long-term trader it will probably no not probably it will behoove you to just like a day trader they might look at the hourly chart or the 30 minute chart or the five minute chart they might close out every you know after every candle it will definitely behoove you to look at the day chart as a long-term trader and wait until the candle closes in order to realize whether you're going to be uh you know your your bias in the market whether up or down all right i'm going to explain this area to you what you see here i'm going to explain this to you those of you probably remember uh probably about two weeks ago i made um a call i put out a a trade alert and it was because the market was at support and on a daily we had this engulfing candle one thing that I've noticed is that a lot of people are very impatient if you're going to be trading on the forex market you have to learn to be patient all right if you are not going to trade at a volume that respects the amount of capital or equity that's inside of your account then you're going to handicap yourself in your account you're going to throw yourself into a bad situation if you are if you are patient and you're trading at a volume that's good for your account not at a volume that's way too high trading at a dollar pip with only uh, two hundred dollars in your account you almost have to be dead on you have to be spot on rather when you when you place your trade in order for you to make it work without risking your account because when you're trading on a pair like the GBP and ZD where it moves it can move a hundred pips in 30 minutes you could find yourself throwing your 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 account away all right so basically the message that I want to bring to you guys is you know you have to you have to uh, you have to be patient and you have to remember that the volume size that you're trading at will determine the outcome and how long you can actually trade the market all right I would rather be able to trade, have a bad trade running from here and be able to make it to here 
than just to hear to hear. All right. Some people trade so high that if the market they put a bad trade in here, by the time the market made it up halfway, halfway up the candle, they're out of the market. All right. If you trade at a smaller amount, where the amount traded will will not hurt you if the, if the market went against you for a couple hundred pips, that's when you have maximum strength inside of inside of the market. You know, the market makers, the big banks, they can't make the market, they can't toy around with the market so they go against you and throw you out of the market. You know, so if you guys, and I know that I, I probably sound like a, a, a broken record, and I actually do that on purpose because I know that when you constantly hear the same thing, it plays on your mental. All right, it plays on your mental. Eventually, you're gonna remember, and it's gonna become ingrained in you. You know, just like me speaking to my daughter, I tell her, Genesis, don't do this. Genesis, don't do this. She eventually knows that she's not supposed to do it. And if she goes to do it, she'll look at me to see if I'm looking, because she knows that she's not supposed to do it. All right. So if you, if you're tired of the market going against you and you're tired of being thrown out of the market then that's like me telling you why'd you do that you know you're not supposed to do that trade at a, a at a smaller volume because you want to be able to take the market from here to here and you want to be able to make if you got in after that you want to be able to make a thousand eleven hundred pips you know what i mean you could have made eleven hundred pips in two weeks trading at a dollar. I'm sorry, you could have made $1,100 in two weeks trading at a dollar. But the average salary of someone, $550 a week, I suppose. So you figure that's not bad. You know, you could slowly grow your money. So um, I, I, I want you guys to know that um, I guess being, being uh, patient in the market Will, will go a long way. Trading at a great volume will go a long, will go a very long way. Um, if if you are, if if you're rushing into a trade and not allowing for the setup to take place to actually set up, that's the reason why it's called a setup. You need to let it set up, finish the setup, so you can see what it's going to do. If you don't allow it to finish, then you're jumping in prematurely. And that could be uh, that that could be quite disastrous. So you want to make sure that you're getting in after the setup. All right. Um, a few other tips that I want to give you guys is if you are trading long term, this is my opinion. All right, this is my opinion, and you guys can check this out for yourselves. Um, when, because I trade long term, if I'm already in on a trade, like for instance, I'm actually in on a GBP and ZD right now, going long. So, let me break this down, okay? You had the market at support, okay? The market was at a great level of support, all right? As you see, this is the second time it reached this level ever. So we know this level, the market probably would not go below this level. Probably. So you expect it to bounce off the level. Not saying that it will, but you wait for the you wait, you wait for the confirmation, you wait for the setup. So the setup had taken place, you got the bullish engulfing candle, it moved up. Alright? So we know the market is going up. But however, after that Friday following the Brexit, on that Sunday, Monday, like tonight, the market gap down. At this gap, that created, as I was telling my students, as I've put out there before many times, this pair creates a gap, and it's, if it's significant, it becomes a resistance or a support, depending on which way the market is on. All right? In that case, it created a resistance. And as you see, the market went up and hit and bounced off. All right? Now, I want to give you guys a little example. I want to give you some advice. Um... Because the market gapped down and then it went sideways, 
it sort of created another level of resistance or support all right that's why I have another line below the candles body all right and also above it so it sort of created a couple different levels of resistance and as you see when the market went up it came up to the first line and backed off went up went up to the first line again backed off went up the next day didn't go any further but it gapped up the next day and look where it went to to the gap all right then it bounced off back down went up some backed off the next day and right now we're in between all right we're in between so it's, it's a it's an inside body so we 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 um, an inside bar rather so we we wait for we wait for the next move now let me tell you let me explain to you why I did not get out that uh, last Friday reason being is that the market broke down to this okay it came down and it, it backed off the next day Thursday I'm sorry the next day Friday it backed down it was up first and it backed down now because it backed down all right I'm gonna let today give me the I'm gonna I'm gonna let today's candle create the bias for me okay if it goes further down then I, it, I'll be more inclined to get out if it goes back up then I know it's going to more than likely range at this at this level and I could probably make this a little longer so I can expect it to range at this level probably it might go down some but um, you know that's that's what I'm expecting all right now expect keyword okay you're expected to do something but you don't trade on it until you get what the confirmation all right so if the market is at this level and if it starts to just range or if it starts to go sideways consolidate then it's telling me something all right just like you let's see I don't have a bottle in here but if you're shaking a bottle up okay you're shaking a bottle up all right you're shaking a bottle up now it's, it's fully enclosed it's fully closed take the top off boosh it's gonna explode all right so when you start getting consolidation at this level eventually it's going to go up or down when it goes it's going to blow I'm telling you all right now one thing for certain that you have to remember is that just like when you're dealing with um, breaking through any barrier the thicker the barrier the more force or impact you need to break through it right the thinner the easier it's going to be so that being said if this level is very strong you're going to need great momentum to get through it right so I would not be I would not be surprised if the market didn't back down and then came up and broke through it. Okay, sort of just like a slingshot, pull back, spring forward. All right, just like a just like a uh, a diving board. You jump on it, give you more momentum to go higher. All right, so you pull back, goes higher. That that gives me the idea that it could possibly break through it. So that's 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 where I'm at right now with this pair and that's what I'm thinking and I'm watching it because this is where I, I make a lot of money on this pair and right now my job is to teach each and every one of you to do the same all right now of course I, I don't put out all of this all of these uh, topics I'm sorry tips all of the time especially in great detail like this but it's important for you guys to know why I make certain decisions that I make why I decide to hold my trade and not take the money now I am a patient trader. I know that I have money inside of my account and I know that I'm not trading too heavy. I can easily take profit if I wanted to. Without a doubt, I could easily do that. But I'm letting price action guide me. Every candle that closes, I'm allowing it to guide me. So this is what I do. I want to give you guys a little advice. All right. I want you guys to let the day candle closes first before you jump in alright like for instance if I got in right now I don't know which way the market is going it's, it's the it's the uh, Sydney and it's the Sydney and Tokyo session these sessions are not the very low volume volatility uh, sessions. so I don't get real bent about a shape about it I wait until the London and New York because what happens is the market could be going up right now and as you see, since the market opened up, 
it's it was bullish and it was bearish all right so it can easily turn bearish come the London session in a few hours or it can easily go bearish during the New York who knows but I want you guys to know that there is so there is such low volume and volatility on the Tokyo and Sydney I don't trade it if I'm already in on a trade I, I would normally let it run if the closure of the previous day doesn't give me a reason to get out I'm gonna let it run until the London and New York I would rather let it run so I can have a better a clear and more concise reason to get out than to get out prematurely all right now that's just that's the way I run things that's the way I do things and it works for me just like if I see if I see a setup I'm not gonna get in if I don't have no trades open and there's a setup going I don't I don't get in on I'm not gonna get in on the Sydney or the Tokyo I wouldn't do that because for one I'm on the Eastern Standard uh, zone and that means if I'm getting in, I'm getting in like now. It's 9:25. I might be getting in, and and next thing you know, it. A few hours later, I might be sleep. You know, so I might be sleeping, and, and the London might open up. It might take it in a totally different direction. You know, so you know if if that happens, I'm not up to watch it. I can't close out. I can't. I don't have an exit strategy. You know, I need to have time to make. The proper move so I'll wait until if I'm not in into if I'm if I don't have no trades open I'm not getting in on the Tokyo and, and the, the uh, Tokyo and and the, and the Sydney there are plenty other opportunities to make money in the market I don't need to rush to get into one that I'm gonna soon uh, regret possibly you know so I'm not gonna do it I can wait on this I, I'll wait on the next setup so I want you guys to understand this message I want you guys to learn to be patient do not rush into a trade because it, it's currently is showing that it's a good move yes you could have a, a perfect setup it could look like it's a, a bearish engulfing candle and it's gonna it's gonna go down it could be at it could be at resistance or support it could be at wherever it is you you don't know but by the time it closes it could be the opposite so that while it was once a bearish engulfing candle now it's going in the opposite direction the whole tone and my bias have, have, has changed so I want you to know, do not get in prematurely. Let the candle close first, and then you get in on the London and and or the uh, U.S. session. That's what I do. You know, if it doesn't work for you, don't do it. It's, don't don't take my word for it. Don't do it. But if anything, just try it out. You know. So I want you guys to understand that. Know that. Um, you know. Uh, you know. You have to be patient. Let the let let the market set up first, and then you strike. Don't go off because don't go off of the current position of the candle. Let the candle close first and then you take your move. Because once you take your move based on a closed candle, at least now you have more of a reason to be going in that direction. You you know, plus you'll be saving your losses too, possibly, depending on which way the market goes. So just keep that in mind, you know, keep that in mind when you guys are trading. Um I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go much longer. This is all I want to let you guys know. There are thousands of setups right now that's going on in the market. Um, there are tons of ways to look at the way the market is set up. A lot of people, they analyze the market differently. Um, I like to look at the big picture, and then I like to look at what's going on now and make sense out of what's going on. And, and don't, don't just rush into any trade because, you know, Although you have a 50% chance of winning, it's critical that you get in at a, at a good price. You know, I'm already in on on the market going up. In fact, let's see. One second. Uh, now nah, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Oh well. Uh, in fact, let me just let me just tell you. I believe I got in. Uh, See, I got in probably like a week and a half ago, and so I'm I'm pretty good on profit, but today could be a you know today could change the way things look. Right now, it, it could change things. So, um, as I said, do not do not get in too early. Just just get in when the actual candle closes, and let that be your reason for going up or down. Okay. 
and then um, be patient don't over leverage don't over leverage your account do not do that you guys don't understand like if you guys learning to trade if you're just learning to trade you can save a lot more money you can have more strength in your account trading at just 20 cent or trading at 10 cent than you would if you only have a hundred to two hundred dollars in your account and you're trying to trade at a dollar and if the market goes against you for an hour at 50 50 pips that's half your account you're blown so don't do it stack your money first and then then increase your volume as you go you know so uh, that's the advice I have to give you all today to you all today um, hopefully this message has come across um, as, as welcoming and, 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 and helpful um, so I, I just want to make sure that you guys are learning something whether you're within the group or outside of the group, I want you guys to learn, and, and that's it. So thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the movement. Thank you for continu continuously watching my videos and, and uh, liking my videos and viewing them and, and subscribing. I thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, so darn easy for us at gmail.com. And then also, if you want to know more information about the services that I do provide, you can go to so darn easy for us .com to view my many services and products and then um, if you want to call me 929-274-0555 alright until next time you guys you guys have a, a good night peace